let's take a look at these two subtraction problems. Let's start with 417 minus 229. What this means is I start with 417, and I'm going to draw it over here using 100 squares. Each of these is worth 100, so as you can see I have 100, 200, 300, 400, and then 110 and 7 ones to represent 417. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 229 from that. So I'm going to start by taking away 200. That means 100 and 200 are gone. Next I'm going to take away 20. As you can see though, there's a problem here because I only have 10 to take away. I can't just take away 100 because that's way too many. So what I need to do is I need to take this 100 here and break it into 10 tens rods. Now if you remember, 10 tens is equal to 100, so at any point, if you need to break them apart, you have the option to do so. You aren't getting rid of any or adding any more, you're actually just showing them in a different way. So there we have our 10 tens. Now, since we took this 100 and broke it into the 10 tens, that 100 is now gone. Remember, we'd already subtracted 200, we needed to subtract 20. So, let's take away 10 and 20. Last, we have to take away 9, because we've taken away 200 here. We've taken away 20. Last, we have to take away 9. But we only have 7 ones, so guess what? We have to take a 10 and break it into 10 more ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now that we've broken it up, this 10 is gone, and here's what we have left to subtract from. We only have to subtract 9 ones. So, minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let's count how many we have left. I could see we still have 100, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, there's 180, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 188. So that means that 417 minus 229 is equal to 188. Let's take a look at this other one over here. 648 minus 325. I'm going to represent the 648 the same way that I represented the 417 in the last one with hundreds tens rods, and ones. Now you'll notice I'm drawing this. I'm actually drawing it on purpose because it shows you that you can draw the same thing to help solve. You don't need manipulatives, although there are the front row manipulatives you can use to help you if you would like. Now we have 648. We're going to subtract 325. Let's start by taking away the 300. 100 is gone, 200 is gone, 300 is gone. Next, we'll take away 20, minus 10, minus 20, and last, we'll take away 5. 1, oops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How many are left? We have 100, 200, 300, 310, 320, 321, 2, 323 is the correct answer. These show you how to subtract problems or how to complete subtraction problems using models.